Do, do kids ever recognize you as Buzz Lightyear because your voice? Oh. What's, um, what's unusual is the voice. And I think Warner Brothers cartoons a long time ago told the people they, do, they did not want Mel Blanc or anybody doing the voice outside of the cartoon environment. And I understand oh. why. I'm in uh, Manhattan in an elevator and a young kid is misbehaving. Some kids at certain age just punch you in the crotch. I don't know what that's They're, about. Yeah, and There's a certain age, they're right there. Boys. They know it gets your attention. <laughs> and so this kid was punching mom in the leg and really going nuts. So I said, oh, infinity and beyond. You shouldn't treat your mom like that. And the kid went <laughs> and looked all around the elevator and then started crying and turned into, and I, the mom looking at me like now she's mad. At and, you. And, and the kid and goes, that punching. ugly man swallowed Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> <laughs> I go, hey, hey. I, now you can punch him. Um, well, I will say, uh, uh, Hank's my good buddy when uh, plays Woody, but who cares about a cowboy? He goes, <laughs> He did a sweet trick for us. We went to a children's hospital together, and we did. And what he did, it was such a wonderful idea. He has these kids close your eyes for a minute, and when the kids close their eyes, then we can do the voices together, and then they they, they imagine Woody and Buzz are there. It's much. That's so but, sweet. Oh God, he's a great guy. And I said, it was, it, I've learned that lesson. If anybody wants to hear it, shut your eyes, especially little kids, little yeah. ones. Shut your eyes, and then I'll go to the, near him, say some Buzz Lightyear stuff. Yeah. Then they don't. Uh, confuse don't freak that him out you. in an <laughs> elevator. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.